Charlie, I guess it's a, a mixed sort of day for you because you're going to be going through your home village. Um, but your brother's lying in hospital, Harry. You were right there when it happened. Yeah, it's absolutely outrageous to be fair. Uh, we were just like going down this descent, like it was clear, visibly wasn't clear. And uh, yeah, I think we didn't expect it, but there was just like a stationary motorbike on the course and he hit it like 6 k's an hour. Oh. To be honest, he's been really lucky. I thought it could have been a lot worse than what it actually was. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he's recovering now, so luckily he's alright. So. Well, I have heard it was hard, hard on you. Uh, yeah. Because I mean, you, know, I, you see him go down and what do you do? He's not moving, you know? Well, that's the thing. That's, I, I've seen him hit the bike and I just like, stopped. I was like, there's more important things than this bike race. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, good news is he's alright. Could have been a lot worse. Like, people hit things at 6k now, you know, it could be fatal. Like, yeah, well, I, I, I hit a guy, I was just talking to you about my crash. I hit a car at 40 mile an hour, which is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not nice. Um, yeah, it wasn't a nice day, so hopefully it's a bit better. <laughs> and and also because of the weather yesterday, I mean the weather was horrendous. I was stood at the finish line with the rain bouncing off the road. Mm. How what's it like in a peloton? Just give us a bit, you know. Um, I mean you can see like five meters ahead of you. Yeah. You gotta like just I'm quite lucky because I'm quite tall, so like I can see the motorbikes in the distance with the lights on going round. Yeah. So you can sort of see the corner coming up. But um. Yeah, you got to use your wahoo and like use your your maps on your wahoo to like see where the, the course is going and stuff because it's a bit like being in fog, which we had on the Isle of yeah, Man. It's, people yeah, people on the Isle of Man were doing the same thing. They were using their garments to know where the bends were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just got to like use your Garmin like to get a cue of where you're gonna go. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was cr it's absolutely crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, it's, well, teams yeah. had such bad luck. I guess you guys are just looking for looking for that change. Yeah, get a, get a bit of confidence back, get a bit of luck going. Yeah, we've not had a, we've not had the best of luck recently. We've lost mm. well three riders now to mm. crashes and broken bones. So yeah, we'll keep on going, and um, each day is a new opportunity. So um, we'll try and make the most every day. Yeah. Breakaway today? I'm gonna see. Yeah, I had to go full gas yeah. yesterday. Uh, are you but... heading down to the race leaders canyon? So look, just let me go. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I might have to try that one. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'll have your dad there and. Yeah, family over and friends as well. Everyone's coming to Carlton Bank, the uh, the last com of the day. Yeah. So I'll be hoping to get a lot of cheers up there. Which I understand, that's a bit like Sutton Bank. It's, it's a big one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is a big one. Uh, it's very rampy. So I assume, if, well, I assume the race will have been blown to pieces before mm. it, but if it hasn't, then it certainly will do that. Stay safe out there. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Uh, is there anything that a rider can do to try and avoid those things by leaving gaps and the thing is when you're going flat stick and everyone's lined out you you don't think that a motorbike will be parked on the course like you, you think it's clear like as you should do nothing um, should ever be around the racing line should it no um so yeah there's it's not a lot you can do then no there's not going from 60k to zero yeah exactly yeah he's just lucky that he's not anymore on the damage